Last Friday, dozens of anti-government activists died in a building besieged and set ablaze by extremists. But as an eyewitness told us, those who weren't killed by the smoke and fire were soon finished off by the mob. That terrible blaze in the labor union building, how did it happen? You were inside, right? Yes, we were inside. On our way up the stairs, we were taking plywood sheets inside so that we could block the doors and prevent them from getting into the building. The crowd was quickly becoming bigger. They were coming from everywhere. First of all, nobody expected such cruelty. And secondly, it was too late to escape. They started hurling Molotov cocktails, after which the first and the third floors burst into flames. They were also throwing firecrackers, so people in the halls were sitting on the floor blinded. At that moment you realize there is no way to help these people, so you'd better rescue yourself. The outraged crowd outside was shouting that they wouldn't let anybody out alive. The police were idle, not doing anything. When firefighters arrived, it was too late. Too many people had already died, even though the closest fire station is 700 meters away from the site. Seventeen-year-old hooligans were finishing people off with bats. There were many photos published from inside the building. Some of them showed dead people with bullet holes. Why was that? Did you see anyone shooting at you? The shooting started at Greczeskaya Street. There were lots of people with gunshot wounds. Half an hour into the fighting, we lost three activists and one policeman. All were killed. But did they shoot at the building? Yes, they did. Have a look at the video. This armed man in a vest is carrying a gun. Many people were strangled. I don't know how they managed to get through the fire, but they did. So activists did get inside the building? Yes, the pro-government activists were able to get inside. They finished off some of the people who managed to escape. Others were thrown out of the windows. A very important question, because many have been concerned with this. Ukraine's interior ministry suggested there were foreigners inside the building, including those among the dead. No, they all came from Odessa. They all loved their city deeply.